everybody and welcome to another episode of our FM19 Journeyman where we are in a very rough patch of form. We're currently 13th in the table, 10 points off of the playoffs, but there's a lot of team between us and there and it's looking like it's, well, less and less likely that we are going to be able to push into it. But if we can have a really strong end of the season, it's certainly not over yet. There's still a little bit of hope to cling to. Now today, we've got Portsmouth and Barnsley. Portsmouth... Not a great side, currently down in 22nd. Barnsley down in 19th. Now, let's not forget, when we first played Barnsley, we were in 23rd and they were in 10th. So, goes to show how much a season can change, really. So, let's submit the team. Now, there are actually a couple of changes to the side. First of all, Bayliss back in, playing as a pressing forward. I've moved Harry Anto to a poacher. And we're just going to see how all of this goes. And actually, one thing I did say I was going to do, which I almost forgot about, I'm putting Vidanovic back in goal. Kalicio was, well, fairly dreadful last time out. So, and to be honest, I don't think Vidanovic did a whole lot to warrant being job dropped. I just kind of like the look of, of Kalicio. And I thought he looked like a good young goalkeeper. But after the last game, I think he certainly needs a game on the bench. As this is very defensive, isn't it? I mean, hmm. I mean, we'll try and break it down, but we've struggled scoring goals at the best of times lately. You've got to put in improved performances. We need to put an end to our bad run. Yes, we do. Six players liked it. That's not as many as I would have liked, to be honest. But hopefully the on-pitch performance will be slightly better. Well, we've got a free kick. Yastrzemski flicks forward. Vadasa strikes, but he's offside. I thought we'd taken an early goal there. A good finish from a set piece from Vadasa, but... It was from an offside position, so it doesn't count. Well, they've got a throw in deep in their own half. Paul picks out Scholes, but, well, they do manage to keep the ball. They're very deep in their own half. Obviously, a very defensive formation from them. As Williams looks to come forward, he's quite isolated. And Vidanovic manages to get a hand to the shot. He went for the far post, trying to put it around the keeper. But we managed to deal with it just about. We do need to get rid of the corner as well, though. And we seem to get rid of the first attempt. Matthew's shot. Very wild, I think, to say the least. There's a massive gap, by the way, between the stands and the pitch. It's huge. Well, another throw in for them in their own half. They've got such a defensive setup, though, that they are kind of struggling a little bit to build out from this. They're having to just sort of pump it forward. But unfortunately, it is working for them as they clatter the post. Gustavo picks up the ball. No counter-attack from us either. That's disappointing. We're isolating their striker very well, but... The long balls up are just still managing to get through to him, probably due to our, our relatively weak centre-halves compared to the rest of our team, which is causing a bit of trouble. And it is making me think about a change, and I think I am going to make it. Let's go to the dressing room, and let's give the team talk first. I'll get aggressive and say I'm not happy, because we've not seen enough from us, to be honest. And we need to be winning these sorts of games. They aren't a good team, but I'm going to bring on Chelsov for Chesnikov, and try and just get an extra man in there to lock down their striker, try and really limit their chances. Let's make Harry Anto back to a poacher as well. And let's just try again. Let's try and get some goals. It shouldn't be this difficult. Well, we've got a throw in in their half. Horn, Banon, back to Horn. Can we get across into the box? We're going to try to, but they head clear. Doyle Hayes strikes. It falls to Yastrzemski. And this time, the goal is good. No offsides this time. The initial shot from Doyle Hayes hit a defender and rebounded out, but their keeper dived for it prematurely, leaving Yastrzemski with essentially a very open net to strike into. And it's not a bad cross in, but they did get to it first. But then, yeah, this first shot, their keeper went to ground for it absolutely needlessly. It was blocked anyway. Obviously, he didn't know that was going to happen, but it left us in a very advantageous position. Yastrzemski able to capitalise, putting us 1-0 up. Another throw in deep in that half for us. Yastrzemski tries to find Doyle Hayes. Can't, but we do keep the ball. Chelsov flicks over to the other side to Benon, who runs forward and just sort of... Um... Gives it to them. I don't know. Maybe there was a fan asking for the ball. I'm not quite sure. Pause to make changes. There's a highlight. I think I'm going to see what happens first before we before we decide on anything. But, well, hopefully it's in our favour. I was going to swap Harry Anto for Flynn. But depending on what happens here, well, I may not do that. Yastrzemski on the left-hand side. Going to go for a cross. Tries to find Bayliss and does. But they put in a tackle. Horn nods down, though. We do get back on the ball once again. Benon's on the right-hand side in a decent bit of space. But no one's giving it to him. And we're kind of under a bit of pressure here. I kind of just want to see us, well, get the ball forward more than anything. As we try to flick forward, Bailey's down to Harrianto, who strikes, and it is onside. I was a little bit sceptical there, but it apparently was Bailey's assisting Harrianto. Maybe, well, maybe the change isn't necessary. We double our lead. It's a good goal, Harrianto. Two in two games since his return, I do believe. And you really can't complain too much about that. It's exactly what we need. We needed goals. He came back in and started scoring them, regardless of the poor result last game. You can't really complain about what he's done since he's came back. So, I am still going to make a change, though. I'm going to bring on 
Collins for Bernon, just on this right-hand side. Just get a fresh pair of legs on there. Let's keep it keep it changing. Well, another throw for us deep in their half. Luis Gustavo at the left-back position. Pushed very far up. Doyle Hayes back to Gustavo. Can we find a cross? He's going to go for it. He can't get on the end of it, though. Horn gets it on the right. Flicks it in again. We get bought down. Bale is going to ground there. And Mullen is getting called over by the referee. No card, but there is a penalty. Bale is going to step up to take it. Can he put this one away? Can we go 3-0 up? No, it's saved. Bayless's penalty denied. Still only 2-0. Disappointing. He's been quite good from the spot this year, but, well, not able to there. Following Bayliss's missed penalty, I am going to bring Flynn on for him and just see see what these two can do as a pair, really. I'll bring him on as an advanced forward on attack. A poacher and an advanced forward will go really at them for these last 10 minutes. Well, a throw in for them, deep in their half, pull forward to west, and they are struggling to build anything. I don't think they've changed system. They still look to be in the same shape, and... Well, they were set up very defensively, which is a bit odd, really. You'd think they'd try and push out a bit more. Needing two goals as Flynn nicks it from their defender. Slides it into the back of the net. It's good to see him back in the goals. He was so good when we first signed him. He was scoring quite frequently. And then he went on a big dry patch. He's bagged one goal since then, and now this is his second. But I'd just like to see him score frequently, to be honest. He looks like a really good striker, and if we can have him, Bayliss... And Harry Anto with McGee also fitting in as well. We should have four very competent strikers, especially the first three of those. As I've not bought off Jake Doyle Hayes, who is dead on his feet, which is a bit harsh of me, really. We don't have any substitutes left, obviously. But maybe I should have done it earlier instead of bringing on Flynn or perhaps even Collins. But either way, we take the 3-0 victory. There are no injuries to worry about. It's not too bad. I certainly can't complain. Man of the match actually goes to Yastrzemski, the man who scored the first goal. An 8.3 for him. Very impressive. Flynn getting an 8 as well after just coming on. Well, it's, it's good. It's good all around. The defence having a good game, despite sort of looking shaky early into the game. We saw their striker get through a couple of times. They quickly solidified and sort of shored it up back there, which is nice to see. It's good to see them bounce back. That's one win. We've sort of ended up... This, we started to end up poor in a form. Barnsley coming up down in 19th. We need to beat those two, but we've struggled against some of the weaker sides. Obviously, Nottingham Forest recently, we didn't manage to pick up a win against them. They're bottom of the league, so it's certainly not set in stone, but there's a good chance we can go out there and put in a good performance. Three, two, one. Let's get into it then. This game now against Barnsley, like I said, struggling, and I've made some minor changes to the side. It's the same 11, but... I've made our wingers more attacking. I feel like, despite the good win in the last game, our strikers are in a poor patch of form. So I want to get some more players forward to kind of help out with that. So Benon and Yastrzemski, hopefully pushing on a little bit more, hopefully should be able to contribute. If not in the goals department, then in a bit more chance creation so we can have more shots to try and score from, really. So let's proceed to the game and hopefully... We can just pull out another good result. We absolutely battered Portsmouth out there last time, especially after sort of the first 20 minutes or so, as they've got Timofey Fosu Mensah at right back here, who's not too bad, actually. He's still pretty decent. He's not lost a lot of his sort of core attributes, but still pretty solid all around, to be honest. He's a decent little player, so let's get into the game. Let's just get into it. Aggressive. We owe Barnsley after what happened. Obviously, they gave us our first defeat since we took over. So, it's the first time we're sort of saying that, and as well as just the team, it also comes from us. Well, there's shots going on for both teams. There's been 12 shots in the game so far. 13. We've seen nothing. Well, there's finally a highlight 45 minutes in. There's been so many shots in this game and we've just seen nothing as Chesnikov's on the ball. Plays forward to Bayliss, out to Bennon on this right-hand side. Can he keep it in? He does. Puts in the cross. Harry Anto can't get there. Doyle Hayes on the edge of the area strikes. Jake Doyle Hayes finally scores for us. Not finally for him, finally for the team in this game. As well, the first highlight of the game, we go 1-0 up. You really can't complain about that. Excellent work here by Bennon and puts in a good ball. It's a shame Harry Anto couldn't get on the end of it, but... Doyle Hayes lurking on the edge of the area. Great left-footed strike, by the way. Curls it very nicely. Puts us 1-0 up. It's wonderful stuff. We just need to keep it going. Look, 18 shots. We finally see one just before the half-time mark. And really, I can't complain. I'd like us to be a little bit more dominant in terms of highlights. But I'll take the win. I'll take the... Oh, not the win. I'll take the lead. I'll take the lead. Um, I'm happy with your performance. They all look delighted. At this point, we've been in a poor patch of form. We don't want to put any extra pressure on them. We don't want to sort of bring them down when they're, they're winning, and we've been struggling to do that lately. We've got a free kick. Edge of their area. Bayliss is going to strike. That is the most generous use of edge of their area you've ever heard. It was nowhere near. It was about halfway between their half and the box. But they play forward from the goal kick. Horn clears up, but we can't get on the end of it. But Benon... Gets on the second ball, running through the centre. He's just running all the way into the box. Strikes. We see those more attacking wingers coming into play there. The shot didn't work out, but we did manage to create a good chance. Also, I can't say the word out, apparently. The shot didn't work out. 
Uh, well, we've got a corner. Luis Gustavo is going to flick in. Harry Anto heads just over the bar. I'm a little bit nervous here. Obviously, most of the highlights have been for us, or all of the highlights, really, have been for us. But uh, we're still only 1-0 up, and it's scaring me. I'm going to make a change. I'm bringing on Flynn for uh, Harry Anto. Is it an advanced forward on the tack? I feel like that's the right call. I feel like it's the right call. I'll stick with my gut. I missed the confirm changes button. That's not a good sign. Well, we've got a free kick edge of their area. Bayless tries to curl it in, but it just flies over the bar. We have a lot of free kicks where we just pump it over the woodwork. As we have another highlight. Ch Chen... I've forgotten his name and I've just seen it. Luis Gustavo forward to Dor Hayes. Finds Flynn in the area. Strikes off the bar. Banon strikes the attacking wingers. Well, we make them there. We make them there. What am I saying? This this is the mess of a game. I just can't speak. We make the wingers attacking and they score a goal. That's all I wanted to say. That's not a difficult sentence. Flynn getting the assist. Uh, generously. Technically, the woodwork got the assist. But we'll take it. It buffs his stats up a little bit. It'll make him a little bit happier. It's all right. Another free kick for us. Chesnikov pumps into the box. Flynn goes just over the bar. That's his name, by the way. The one I forgot a couple of seconds ago. We're picking up cards left, right and centre. I'm not having this. Right. Doyle Hayes can come off because he's literally dead on his feet. Uh, we'll bring Tomer on for him. He can play that advanced playmaker role. That's completely fine. Other than that, I think we'll keep it the same. There's temptations to make a couple of other changes, but for now, we'll keep it as it is. Doyle Hayes knocks back to Gabrielle. Obviously, still only 2-0. It's not over yet, but that's a great ball forward to Flynn, who strikes. Bayless in the centre there. You saw it. I saw it. Flynn didn't see it. He struck, struck it himself and, well, it didn't go in. But we've had 21 shots. 24 shots. We've just had three shots in the blink of an eye. Tome is going to take a corner. Puts it towards the back post. We can't get on the end of it. But Bayliss is on the ball. Finds you. Stremski strikes from a long way out. Flynn hits the keeper from point blank range. If that was on target, that was a certain goal. But... It was on target and it didn't go in. If that was anywhere else but at the keeper, it was a certain goal. Unfortunately, we couldn't guide it there. And, well, it's still only 2-0. But as we approach added time and we're now into it, there is another highlight. Gustavo finds Gabriel with it. I'd like to keep the clean sheet if possible. Vidanovic comes back in and we look a lot more stable at the back. I don't think that's really a coincidence. I think he, he works a lot better with our back line. I just think he's a lot more... A lot more stable, to be honest. I think they trust him a bit more. And we pump one forward. That is going to no one. But Benon gets on the second ball. Cuts inside. Strikes. It goes just wide. But again, we're seeing those attacking wingers come into play. It's not too bad, really. We've seen a couple of shots from Benon. And one goal as well, along with that. It's all going very nicely. It's a 2-0 win against Barnsley. A team that's struggling. And we beat them fairly handily. We didn't see a highlight from them all game. Despite them having a good number of shots. Started relatively tentative, to be honest. There was, well, barely a highlight in the whole half, a whole first half. But overall, I think we'd say we finished quite strongly. We looked quite decent in sort of the back end of that game. We had a lot of highlights. I wish we didn't have so many free kicks where we just sort of got rid of the ball. Like, we just, we could create a chance, but we just pump it over the bar. I think we either need a better free kick taker or a different free kick approach because it's just wasting a lot of chances. We forced so many fouls from teams and we just don't take advantage of them, really, which is a bit of a shame. So there's a few emails going in here, but what we really care about is the competitions. We're up to 12th, seven points off of the playoffs. So nothing changed from after the last fixture, but we don't look terrible. Every time I look at our goal difference, by the way, we're at seven. It doesn't matter what our recent results have been. Every time I look, it's at seven. It's obviously a coincidence, but it's really weird how consistently we've been on that number. But... I think the point to note here is we are keeping pace with this sort of pack. This pack sort of from Norwich down to Derby. This, there's sort of a seven-point gap there. And I think as long as we're in the thick of this, I'd like to push sort of more into the middle. If Norwich and Berry could sort of drop a couple of points, it would make it a lot closer for us. But yeah, as long as we're in the middle of that, we've got every chance of making the playoffs. Because let's face it, there's 10 games left. No team in this pack, including us, probably, are going to win their last 10 games. So there's going to be room to make up that gap. We just need to capitalise and hope that the, the opportunity is there. Norwich need to lose or drop seven points. It's possible, to be honest. Do we play them? Uh, I can't... No, we've definitely already played them twice. We picked up a 1-1 draw. It's not too bad, and we've not got too bad of an end-of-season running. I think there's only really Stoke and maybe Barry that are too difficult. Bolton might be on a Bolton are or 11th, I think. I think they're, yeah, right above us. But I don't think we play anyone else in this mix. As far as I'm aware, any... Oh, no, we've got Cardiff as the second last game of the season. That's not going to be easy, is it? Uh, I wish we didn't. Hmm. Hmm. 
But we have got a couple of easier games left. We've still got QPR to play. We've still got Hull. We've still got Birmingham. It's it's not the end of the world. It could certainly be worse than it is. We've still got Millwall as well, which is... If you were going to choose your end of season running, it wouldn't be a far cry away from this. Let's put it that way. But let's wrap this up now. I've rambled on for long enough, I think. Just one more thing. The board... Very happy with us in with our league performance. 75%. Pretty decent. So, tomorrow's video will contain two more games, and that includes QPR and Bolton. Hopefully, we can extend this winning streak, go on a bit of a run, and try and really push for these playoffs. How we'll actually do in the playoffs is anyone's guess, because I've not got a clue. But we can always give it our best effort. So, that video will be up at 5.30pm. Subscribe to get that into your feed. Follow the Twitter, join the Discord, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, and goodbye.